In this question, we're going to be looking at factorization by completing the square. Alright, so let's look at this expression over here. Now, what we have is x squared minus 5x plus 3 equals to 0. Alright, so to complete the square, um, what we need to do is we need to be focused on the coefficient of the x term over here. Alright, so the coefficient of the x term here is actually minus 5 correct it's minus 5 so what we need to do is we need to write that x squared minus 5x okay we need to add and subtract two terms and the two terms are plus and minus okay so we're going to add and subtract the same term and what is that term they're going to add and subtract it is the coefficient of x divided by 2 squared and again the same thing minus 5 over 2 squared plus 3 equals to 0 all right so as you can see here what we have done is we have done an addition and subtraction of the same term so nothing has changed all right all we have done is we've added this term and subtracted that term all right and by doing that okay what you achieve is you actually achieve the ability to do a complete square on this portion here all right so what this uh, brings us to is in the next step if you look at this first three terms this can actually be ex expressed as a complete square here by just writing x okay adding this term inside which is addition of minus 5 over 2 okay and this whole thing squared all right and then over here this term still remains so it's minus of minus 5 over 2 square plus 3 equals to 0 all right so just to show you that it is uh, exactly uh, the way it originally was we have not actually uh, changed anything we just rewritten it in a different form all right i'm going to do an expansion here so let me just do that for you here x plus minus 5 over 2 square correct so plus and minus is minus so it's x minus 5 over 2 square which is x minus 5 over 2 x minus 5 over 2 all right so what you get is after you do all the expansion you get x square it is in this and then you have minus 5 over 2x again minus 5 over 2x plus 5 over 2 square all right now what you have here is x square minus 5 over uh, 5 over 2 and 5 over 2 is uh, 5 minus 5x here plus 5 over 2 square so you see it's exactly the same term the negative here uh, at this here is positive doesn't matter because negative square is still going to be positive correct so you can see here that this expression here is actually the same as this expression here all right so it's exactly the same so that is why when we do an addition and subtraction of the coefficient of x over 2 square and we group the first three terms together, all right, this actually gives us the expression of a perfect square here. All right, now what is the next step over here? We need to uh, keep this. So we're going to have x minus 5 over 2 square and these three terms here, these three terms, uh, these two terms, we're going to bring it over to the other side. So equals to, so the minus become plus, so minus 5 over 2 square. So this minus here becomes a plus, and this plus 3 becomes a minus 3. So this will be equals to 25 over 4 minus 3. All right, and uh, if we just do some simple fractions here. Is 25 over 4 minus 12 over 4 
4 which is 13 over 4. So this is your x minus 5 over 2 squared. Alright, so now that you have come here, what is the next step? The next step is, okay, so let me rewrite this over on the left hand side here. So I have x minus 5 over 2 square equals to 13 over 4. So to get rid of the square here, I must do a square root on both sides. Alright, so what I will have here is x minus 5 over 2 equals to 13 over 4 square root. Okay, so let me do that now. 13 divided by 4 is square root 3.25, which is uh, 1.8. So, always remember, whenever you do a square root, you must put the plus and minus in front of it. Okay, you must put the plus and minus in front of it. Now, the last step is, so we know that x minus 5 over 2 equals to plus minus 1.8 so x is equals to so the minus 5 over 2 i'm going to bring over which is uh, so it's 2.5 plus minus 1.8 all right so the two answers are x equals to 2.5 plus 1.8 or x uh, the other answer is 2.5 minus 1.8 okay so 2.5 plus 1.8 i will get a 4.3 or 2.5 minus 1.8 is 0 0.7 so these are the values for x all right so i hope that uh, this uh, example here has given you an idea on how the completing the square approach actually works okay and how you can use it to solve quadratic uh, expressions okay thank you bye